hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here and what we have which is x times x times x minus x times x equals 200 you can write this as x is to power 3 minus x is to power 2 then equals to 100 on this side then here we take 100 to left hand side and this becomes x is to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus 100 equals to 0 here and from here 100 can be expressed as 125 minus 25 that is this equation becomes x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus into bracket 125 minus 25 close bracket equals to zero here that is minus open this bracket and we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 then minus 125 plus 25 equals to zero here then we can express 125 as 5 times 5 times 5 which is 5 raised to power 3 and also 25 as 5 times 5, which is 5 raised to power 2. Then this equation becomes x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus 5 raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 2, then equals to 0 here. Then when we rearrange, bring the power of 3 together, we have x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3. Then the power of 2 together minus x raised to power 2 plus 5 raised to power 2 then equals to 0 here. It is same thing as x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets. Here minus is common. Factor it out. We have minus into bracket x raised to power 2 then minus 5 raised to power 2 plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then from here, this first bracket follows. When we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, you can express it as a minus b into brackets, open bracket a square plus ab plus b square. And also, here, yeah, the second bracket here follows. When we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket, then open bracket a plus b. Then we can express this now following this, and what we have becomes x minus 5 into bracket, open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square plus bracket, then minus also here. We have into bracket x minus 5, also into bracket x plus 5, close bracket, then equals to 0 here. And from here, x minus 5 is common. Factor it out, we have x minus 5 into bracket, open bracket. Here it means x square plus 5x plus 5 square, that's 25. Then here it means minus into bracket x plus 5 then closes bracket equals to 0 here then minus open this bracket this becomes x minus 5 into bracket then open bracket x square plus 5x plus 25 then minus x minus 5 close bracket equals to 0 here that is next step we can write this as x minus 5 into brackets then open brackets x square plus 5x minus x zero plus 4x and 25 minus 5 that's plus 20 plus brackets equals to zero here then we have two possible cases here first one x minus 5 equals to zero or we have x square plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, we have x equals to 5. 
which is a rate solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation. We are here equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 20. And applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. That is, here this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square that's 16 here minus 4 times 1 times 20 that's 80 then over 2. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 that's minus 64 over 2. Then, this is the same thing as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2. Then, from when we have root a times b, which you can write as root a times root b. Also, we can separate this and we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2. And this we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8, with minus 1, that's i over 2. Then, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. And this, this becomes x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2, plus or minus 8i over 2, that's 4i, which implies also we have two complex solutions here, and therefore, all together here, we have three solutions in this problem. One is solution Z, solution here, and two is solution Z. This we can write as x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4i, then x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i. That is three solutions, one re and two complex. Now, when we substitute x equals to 5 here, this equation becomes 5 times 5 times 5 minus 5 times 5 is it equals to 100 on this side. And 5 times 5 times 5, that's 125 minus 5 times 5, that's 25. Is it equals to 100 on this side. And 125 minus 25, of course, that's 100, which is equals to 100 here. Left hand side equals. To the right hand side that is x equals to 5 satisfies this given problem and same way these two complex solutions to satisfy and thank you for watching don't forget to step subscribe for more videos and turn the question by on share this video give it thumbs up and put your comments and see you next class bye for now